Now we're going to talk about different generations of the operating system, about the history of operating system. So the operating systems can be divided into four generations. The first generation is from 1945 to 55, which was the generation of vacuum tubes and plug boards. The second generation from 55 to 65. The third one from 65 to 80. And the last one, which is the current generation, the fourth generation of the operating system, which is 1980 to present. So in the first generation of the operating system, we had vacuum tubes and plug boards. Digital computers were not really constructed uh, until World War II. Calculating engines with mechanical relays were built, but later they got replaced by vac vacuum tubes because of the slow speed. All the problems were simple calculation with no operating system. By 1950s, punch cards were introduced and programs were written on cards. Now in the second generation, which is from 1955 to 60, transistors led to the development of computer systems. These machines were known as mainframe and were locked in air-conditioned rooms. Then the bash system was introduced to reduce the wasted time in the computer. A tray full of jobs was collected in the input room and read into magnetic tape, which was mounted on a tape drive. The batch operating system was then loaded to read the job and run it. So the third generation was from 1960 to 1980. Until 1960s, there were two types of computer systems. First is a scientific and second is commercial, which used integrated circuits having performance advantage over second generation. The third generation operating system introduced multi-programming. So what do you think multi-programming as well? Well, multi-programming means that the processor is not idle while a job is being completed. So as you can see, for instance, there are multiple tasks being performed over here. You have a media player open, you have calculator uh, that's being used, maybe a paint. So, so the processor is not idle while one particular job is being operated or executed. Now the fourth generation is the current generation, which is from 1980 up until present. And personal computers were easy to create with the development of large-scale integrated circuits. Microcomputers were cheaper than the mini computers, making it possible for individuals to own them. The advent of personal computers led to the growth of network, which created network operating system and distributed operating system. And we will discuss in detail about what the network operating system and distributed operating systems are in depth.